decarbonization coverage, uh, it's a very uh, good question. I think uh, we should keep it at least on the levels as we have and uh, maybe at the beginning uh, we should ask uh, why immunization coverage uh, is so important. I think uh, we have uh, excellent control of uh, infectious diseases, of communicable diseases. And uh, the tool for that uh, are vaccines. We have uh, sufficient evidence that uh, vaccines are equally immunogenic and uh, also safe. So this is the reason why we try to keep our population protected against uh, communicable diseases. And in uh, recent time, we are facing uh, certain decreases in many countries and uh, the uptake of vaccine is going down. Uh, the reason for that is uh, probably uh, wrong and misleading information spreading uh, around countries and uh, we should face this issue. Uh, one of the possibilities is to introduce uh, mandatory immunization programs, but I think uh, in uh, current uh, time period this is not the way. Not many countries are willing uh, to increase uh, duty to be immunized. So the major aspect of that is uh, probably just communication. And uh, we should definitely improve communication. This is communication uh, particularly between physicians, general practitioners and uh, parents of the kids. Because uh, we should give them appropriate, not biased information and uh, based on this information parents uh, should decide. Completely different situation is in adults. Uh, this is a little bit underserved population because in kids we have uh, immunization coverage uh, between 90-95%. But in adults it's much, much lower. And in certain countries uh, even immunization coverage against uh, flu is uh, on the level of just few percent. So we should deliver them uh, certain knowledge. We should give them uh, basic uh, data uh, why it's important to be immunized, why we are able uh, to cover uh, certain diseases and uh, we can minimize uh, their spread. Otherwise, if we fail, uh, we will have once more again re-emerging diseases and maybe uh, we will be not able to do uh, something with that. So this is our primary goal. Uh, on the other side, uh, we have also healthcare workers. This is not a group based on age, but this is a very important group because sometimes we are not able effectively convinced even healthcare workers. And sometimes healthcare workers are not danger because of their particular health, but because of spreading disease to patients. And I think we should start with them. In certain hospital departments, we should probably increase uh, immunization coverage for certain diseases like uh, flu shots, uh, like uh, pertussis vaccines and, and so on. So this is, this is uh, one of the crucial points as well. Uh, generally, I should say that uh, immunization is for us the best way how to keep uh, vaccine preventable diseases under control. And uh, this is just possible only due to keeping uh, or to keep uh, appropriate uh, coverage and uh, some people in the population is uh, not possible to immunize because uh, they have uh, certain uh, problems, they have uh, certain contradictions and uh, because we are able to immunize the people around them, we are able to protect those. So those are the ways how to proceed and uh, probably as I mentioned at the beginning, communication is for us the most important tool and uh, we should improve it.